Hey, folks, it's time for the Mike Nor five minute half hour news brought to you by the fine folks of the village of Rosemont. That's right. Five minutes of news that normally takes 30 minutes is five minutes, half hour news. Are you kidding me? Can anybody do it? Of course I do it. So be the hit at the water cooler, be the hit at the dining room table, be, be the know it all at work. Or at play. Say, I heard this, I heard that. They'll go, where'd you hear that? The CBS Evening News? Where did you hear that? On Fox? Where'd you hear that? MSNBC? No, I heard it on the Mike North 5 and a half hour news. And by the way, don't forget, be a friend, okay? I need friends, so you know what to do. Go to Facebook and, 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 and be my friend. Be my friend. I want friends, and we'll get back to you. That's what we do. Anyway, Governor Quinn, you ought to know something. When I hear... Um, the Democrats, and, and the reason I'm going to blame mostly the Democrats for this is because Cook County's been run by Democrats. The state of Illinois, we did have a couple Republican governors, but we've had a lot of Democratic assembly people, you know what I'm saying? And this is the most liberal state in the Union. President Obama comes here. So if this is the most liberal state in the Union, w- wouldn't somebody, anybody, tell Mr. Obama, you came from a state that's the most tax state, now we understand that Governor Quinn is going to cut out bus service? Uh, for kids, that's what you get bl- and because of that Dan Blagojevich giving free rides to senior citizens. Well, guess what Quinn did? Now they're going to pay half price. My mother told me if anybody should pay full price, my mother, my mother, okay? She's been around a little bit. She told me it's the older people got the money. They're supposed to have the money. They've been around the longest, okay? So wait, would you, you think a kid should get maybe a break that's 11, 12 years old? That has to take the bus or somebody 75 years old that might have three million in the bank. And I'm not saying everybody's like that, but I do know this. More older people got money than younger people. But you know what? The whole thing screwed up and Governor Quinn, now they're, they're going to take away prescription for the elderly? Are you kidding me? And now we're paying all these high taxes? And you know what? I'm not blaming just one party. I brought up that, you know, the assembly or whatever the hell they call it in Springfield has been mostly Democrat. But you've had Ryan, okay? You've had Edgar. You've had all these guys. It's been Republican. Whoever was in charge has killed this state, okay? Now, do I get mad at Quinn because he wants to lower uh, things? He wants to get rid of things? Because they're on Obama because he didn't do enough. Did Quinn do too much? We'll find out. Joe Quinville with chest pains uh, from the Chicago Blackhawks and and Joe right now uh, suffering from what I would say is stress. Uh, I had chest pains when I had to repeat seventh grade. Uh, it, it, it's a stressful thing. Uh, I was, no, I wasn't 18 when I was in seventh grade, but I had to stay another year. When I found out I was flunking, as a young man, I had chest pains because I knew what was awaiting me at home. Uh, that being said, uh, Joe don't take this to heart, okay? Calm down a little bit. I'm sure the doctors are going to help you, but you're a great guy, and anytime I've needed you, whether it was with our TV shows or whatever, you were there for us. I like you a lot, man, and I wish you and your family nothing but the best on behalf of north to northcom This is exciting. I think one of the most underrated bands of all time, the Bee Gees. Okay, let me ask you something. Who was great in rock and roll? Rolling Stones? The Beatles, the Bee Gees. Who was great at ballads? Okay, uh, Barbara Streisand, Connie Francis, the Bee Gees. Who were the kings of disco? Tavares, Thelma Houston, the Bee Gees. Isn't there an argument for them to be the greatest band ever? Because they played all the genres of music that you could play. I'll guarantee you this. If the Bee Gees wanted to do rap, they'd be one of the few Few groups that could cross over and do rap. They've done it all. And here's the key. They said today, I guess Barry Gibb is all excited, or Robin Gibb. I saw him on Biography the other day. They'll never recover from Maurice Gibb dying at the age of 53. I mean, he, he had a chest pain. Now listen to this. Went to the hospital in Miami and died on the table. How do you think that feels? He was alive on Wednesday, and the BG said he was dead by Saturday. I mean, that's absolutely brutal. But they're going to make a movie about the Bee Gees, and Steven Spielberg is doing it. And John Travolta is going to play the father of the Bee Gees, supposedly. Who's going to play the Bee Gees? I don't care about the father. Who would you have to play the Bee Gees? I got the perfect guy for Robin. Katie Lang. Katie Lang could play one of the Bee Gees. As far as it, they are a great, great group, and I wish uh, Robin and Barry nothing but the best. Also, the Civil War, it's been 150 years. 
I'm going to tell you what scares me. Guys that dress up in Civil War outfits and pretend that they're fighting the Civil War. Leery, I'm very leery of them. If you live next door to a guy who dresses up like a Confederate and he leaves the house and then he goes bowling at night, be very, very concerned. Hey, the All-Star Game's coming up. The Bulls are on the roll. Hey, things are going to be happening. Uh, the Bulls play San Antonio tonight. San Antonio owns them. Okay, and check out Patrick Sharp on the cover of Chicago Magazine. I don't even know why I give Chicago Magazine a plug. They think I'm the Antichrist. And as far as weather goes, it's beautiful outside. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your life. This has been the Mike North 5 Minute Half Hour News. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.